At the University of Arizona's Campus Health Service, Gail Welter Coleman helps students battling eating disorders. And it's something she feels passionate about, having dealt with these issues in her personal life for many years. I definitely was disordered. I wasn't full blown, but yeah, personal background in lots of obsession with what am I eating? Is it too much? Is it too little? How much am I exercising? Too much, too much, too much. Now she works with a team of professionals to help students on campus, but many students come to college already dealing with these issues. Arizona ranks second in the country for teens who have purged or used laxatives as a form of weight control, according to a 2013 survey by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. The national average for this type of eating disorder among teens is 4.4 percent. Arizona's average is double that, and our climate may have something to do with it. I think it's a factor, you know, when you live in a place that has summer for six or seven months out of the year, um, where you're, you're running around in summer clothing for over half the year, you're a little more exposed, so people are a little more body conscious. Dr. Diane Keller also says eating disorders may be spreading to minority populations. We used to think of this as a little bit more of a Caucasian or an Anglo issue. But what we're seeing is there's a bit of a culture clash now. So, so children who are raised in um, non-white homes are starting also to kind of want to fit in with their peers, where previously they may have um, felt very comfortable in their bodies within their family situation. So what happens to a person's body when they become bulimic? Gail Welter Coleman says typically the goal of achieving a certain look will only lead to losing your looks as your health diminishes. You're going to be injuring your GI tract. You're going to be dehydrated. You've got a lot of wear and tear on your esophagus. You've got electrolyte um, imbalance. And that, she says, can even lead to cardiac arrest. Dr. Keller says comprehensive programs like the one offered at Sierra Tucson can help a person recover from eating disorders. But often, she says, parents and family members can take that first step by starting a conversation. It lets them know that later they can come to you about that. And, um, and that's like one of the most important things you can do as a parent is to put it out there. Ricky Mitchell, KGUN 9 on your side.